Each of us has a different story, but opening those wounds is never easy. Someone once said that they wish they could understand what we went through. Instead of appreciating their attempt to be understanding, I got angry. At the time, I felt you had to go and experience what I did to understand what I went through. Maybe it's because I served with some great guys through some of the best and worst times of my life. At what point would I even start to try and tell my story? And what point do you care enough to listen to it? Coast Province, Afghanistan, August 26, 2009. I was a platoon sergeant at the time with the 3rd of the 509th on the 4th Brigade Combat Team, 25th Infantry Division. I ended up doing a lot of missions with my first squad, and they were certainly my go-to soldiers for those tough jobs. Man, it's fucking hot as a devil's dick out here, bro. They'll hear you. <laughs> one seven, one seven Alpha, are you hearing those shots, sir? One seven Alpha, this is one seven Roger. Right. Wardog 6, this is Wardog 17. Are you catching that weapons fire? Contact! 12 o'clock! Sniper! 12 o'clock! Sniper! 12 o'clock! Sniper! 12 o'clock! Sniper! 12 o'clock! 12 
Jason, Jason, wake up. Stay with me, man. You can't leave me here. Come on. Jason. Yep, yep. Cacti two six. This is Troll Medic. Prepare to copy nine line medevac Jason. request. Over. Jason, come on, man. Jason. Jason. Jason, wake up! God damn it, wake up! Wake up! Dad, are you okay? Just a bad dream. Now go back to bed. You got school in the morning. Okay. Dad, why did Mom leave? She just needed a break. She had to think about things. What kind of things? Does she hate me? No, she doesn't hate you. She's just going through a rough time. Now go back to bed. Love you, Dad. Go back to sleep. Security Assistance Force were killed today in Afghanistan, making 2000. For coalition troops since operations began, it comes despite the recent addition of 17,000 American troops sent to Afghanistan. Total number of U.S. soldiers. This is Bethel Park here with a lot of trigeration and reverse pass. John Shadman here inside the 10-yard line, and that leads to. A lead for the Blackhawks, and what a year they've had under Jeff Matheny, number 26. Jose's well, Taco Stan, how can I serve your taco? Archie, it's Richards. You got anything going on today? Hey, what's up, man? Not really. Just watch a little football. I just dropped my kid off at school and, and bored. Mind if I swing by? Shit, nah, man. Mi casa, su casa, bro. Thanks, bro. I'll be over in a bit. All right, bro.
Yeah, hello? Hey, Matt. Hey. I've been doing some thinking and um, I think we should get a divorce. Seriously? You think that's the best option? Yeah, that's what I want. I don't, I don't want to go along living like this anymore. All we do is fight and you're always gone and I've fallen out of love with you. So, what about our 11 years of marriage? Our son? All that time and effort I put into this? And all my sacrifices? And you're just gonna throw this all away? You're not even gonna work on it? What the fuck are you thinking? This is something that happens to other people, not me! I'm sorry, I, I, I just don't love you anymore. You've changed, you're different. I just feel like I'm living a lie. You think you're so perfect and better than everyone else. The worst mistake I ever made was loving you. Oh, fuck you! Bitch. God bless you, dear. Keep eating my roses. Matt for a divorce. Mom, I just can't do it anymore. Not like this. I just can't take it. Oh, you'll always be my baby girl. And I'll support you in whatever decision you make. Come on now, let's not be rash. He's not the same anymore. He's changed. He's different. Ever since he's come back, he's been distant and cold. I just... I just... I'm sure he's having a tough time, too. You mean, it can't be easy for him to come back like that. I don't... I don't really know. He doesn't talk to me about anything. Every time I ask him about what happened, he just shuts down and gets cold. I can't stay with someone like that, Mom. No. When your father and I got divorced a long time ago, I thought I had it all figured out too. He was gone all the time. He missed just about everything that was important. And then just one day I decided to call it quits. It was the best thing to do at the time, so I thought, what should I do? I think you should do whatever you feel is right. Just make sure you can live with the decision you make. You have things to worry about just like I did. My problem was that I didn't even try to work it out. I just bottled it up and then one day decided that divorce was the only way out. Do you think that was a mistake? At the time? No, of course not. Your father and I lost touch long before that happened. My mistake was that I didn't try to fix things. I didn't... I just gave up. And that's something I really do regret. But how can I try and fix it and he won't even talk to me? I'm his wife. He should trust me. He should... He should want to talk to me. Oh, honey, I don't know much about these kinds of things. I, you know, I didn't do so hot in the marriage department. <laughs> I mean, I'm a 48-year-old divorcee who spends her weekend talking to the cat and watching Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna have to figure something out. I don't have a magic wand to wave. If you want things to get better, you're going to have to work hard at it. I just don't want you to get old like me and, and look back one day and say, what if? Mom, I love you.
How the hell are you, Big Sarge? Hey, Doc. How you doing? All right. How you doing? Good. Just needing to hang out with an old friend. Oh, come on in. Come on in, man. You want a beer? Yeah, sure. All right, I'll get you a beer. Oh, recorded last week's game, huh? I did. I missed it. Yeah. Well, Steelers win, you know. Oh, oh damn. Why you gotta go rule it like that? <laughs> Here you go. That's well, more fun if you know. Yeah. You're perpetuating the stereotype, aren't you? As always. <laughs> so what brings you to my neck of the woods? It's only been like weeks since your ass decided to come visit me. Well, I've been busy, bro. Oh, yeah? With what? Your wife got you locked in the bedroom or something? No, that bitch left me right after we got back. You're kidding me, right? No, she gave me that crap about needing to deal with what I'm going through and yada, 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 I can't live with this crap, and she ran off to live with her mother. You want me to off that bitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought you were supposed to save lives, man. Well, sometimes you gotta kill something to learn how to save some, right? <laughs> yeah, all those times you're pulling our ass out of the fire, how many times did you pull that trigger? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. So what's eating you, bro? Oh man, I'm migraines. I got the can't sleep. When I do sleep, I got nightmares. Oh yeah? You know, about things that go on over there. And I got anger issues. Popping Advil like it's candy. Man, it sounds like you're holding on to a lot of stuff. You know, you lead guys into battle thinking you're gonna bring them back out again and then they, then they die. How do you not let that affect you? You can't control any of that. There's nothing you can do. Well, it ain't fucking fair. What's done is done, brah. You can't go on beating yourself up about it. Those guys knew the risk and they were doing something that they believed in. You know, Jason and Jackson died because of me. I let him into that shithole. I fucking was supposed to take care of him. They died. Matt, God doesn't answer to you. There's a reason why you made it out with the rest of us. You can't just pick and choose anyone's time to go. What kind of God lets shit like that happen? You know what? To hell with you. To hell? Hey, what the fuck do you mean that I wasn't there? I was the fucking medic, do you remember that? I saw everything. Man, fuck you. It's getting late. Why don't you go finish your homework and get ready for bed? I'm not stupid, Dad. Something's wrong with you. You need help. Don't you lecture me, kid. You don't know the first thing about anything. Now go do your homework and get your ass into bed. I hate you, Dad. 
I know mom left because of you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I'm going to be with mom. beautiful, isn't it? When you look at it from up here. Almost peaceful. Where are we? What is this place? This? This is where you're stuck. This is the place that your brain won't let you leave. I couldn't save you. I know. It's not your fault. There's nothing anybody could have done. It happened to me. You don't get to choose it. It's not up to you. Well, it isn't fair. Fair? Listen, bad things happen to good people all the time. And there's nothing that any of us can do about it. This happened to me, okay? But this doesn't have to keep happening to you. I mean, you've got a lot to look forward to. You can't fail your family, or your friends, or yourself. I, I just can't forget what happened here. That's fine. But honor me by remembering the good times that we had. Don't dwell on this. It's not your fault. Hello? Hey, it's me. I just wanted to talk to you. I don't want to fight. It was never my intention to hurt you or for things to turn out this way. And, uh, I'm sorry. You seem distant and angry all the time. You lose control over the simplest things. You weren't the only one affected by this deployment. I still love you. And I always will love you. But something needs to change. How can I do that? I don't know, but I'm willing to try and make things work. I just know that I can't continue on like this anymore. I can't even begin to explain what's happened to me. Just take some time and think about things. And we'll start slow and go from there. I know the VA is a good starting point. And there are a lot of options out there. We'll just go one step at a time, okay? I, th I think I can do that. When are you coming home? I'm right outside your front door.
good to have you home. But I think there's something I need to do first by myself. Yeah? I'm sorry I got mad. I'm sorry too. I love you and I know that I'm going through some issues that I have to work through, but I'm really sorry that you're having to get mixed up in the middle of all this. I know, Dad, but it's okay. It'll get better, right? Yeah, it'll get better. Dad? Yeah? Were you a hero in the war? No. I served in a company of heroes. Let me tell you about one of them. His name was Jason Shaw. 